My name is Hannah Wanjiko Gitweria, uh, wife of the late uh, Willy Kimani. And uh, one is to thank God for the fact that he has brought us uh, throughout the six years. They have not been, uh, those years have not been easy, but the grace of God has been very, very sufficient. Number two, I would like to thank uh, IJM, LSK, any other organization or even any other individual who made this case a success because it, it has had its, its ups and downs. Like there was one time we were told uh, the judge is going to be transferred, or, or she's going to be, uh, which is the correct word, she's going to be promoted. So that time we were really feeling down because we were trying to imagine uh, having to repeat the case uh, uh, from scratch. But really thank God that uh, she was able to be given a chance to continue with the case. And also I would like to say that uh, us getting justice today, it offers as a source of comfort to our hearts. Uh, even though it may not bring really Kimani back, but it will be comforting to our hearts. And also something else, at least really Kimani will not be included in the statistics of people who went through torture, uh, who went through, who were abducted, tortured and killed, at least his name will not appear in that list. And even for the remaining journey, we really hope we'll still win. Thank you very much. So they came back our supper. The sons are you are Musu and Leo. Muzuri. That is your Muzuri village. Sababu, as I will say, Mazuri, Noyango and the Christian Shungo. Sabo she just on a new Mutotango, Nodango. Nadia can you ask and you are created a man. Same to my name. You are the crown when you bomb up. What? Sasa. Sasa <laughs> Kwa majina naito wa Simon Jenga, mi ni brother ya Wili Kemani. Kurigana na vile judgment imefanyo siku ya leo, kama family tumesukuru sana, ya kwaza ni kusukuru mungu, for the process to make work for court. We have been here for six years, uh, pressing on for justice, and at last we have got the justice. So we are very proud of that. And also you also thank the IJM fraternity for the great effort that they have put in the process. For if you see the family, to nafuraia sana. Ile mzigo tulikuwa tumebebo tagu wakati hiyo ama ile machozi tumekuwa tukiria tukikumbuka wili nafikiri itaku, e, tunahotarajia itafika mwisho we still feel relieved for the judge for the judgment has been made na pia tunatarajia hata yale ime, imebaki e, itaendelea mzuri na kutakuwa na hatima mzuri kwa hivyo tunatarajia mambo mazuri ba yale imebaki Na pia kama familia, kama vile baba ameongea. Iyo e, kitu hili affect family kubwa sana. The surrounding relatives, neighbors. Na kurigana kama sahi nafikiri wana, na hopu na wanaochi kitu. Nafikiri hata wapenye mtu wako, ameridhika na iyo judgment. The spirit of those guys who are murdered by the police officers. Hawa gerest kama judgment haijafanyua. Ama haki yao haijapatikana. Na natarajia mahali roho zao ziko itapumzika vizuri sababu ile damu yao ilimwagika kwa mchanga bado inalia haki yao na for the justice have been made na fikiri they, they will rest well na sisi pia tupate amani ndani ya moyo yetu kwa majina naitwa Rebecca Wanja nilikuwa ni mimi nilikuwa bibi wa Josephat Iyo maneno tumegojea kwa munda wa siku mingi, lakini kulingana vienye judgment mesomo leo, nafikiria hata mimi itaweza kupumzika. Iyo kitu, 
huu inanisumbua sana lakini nafikiria kuna jambo linakuanga na mwanzo linakuanga na mwisho naomba Mungu kwa mpaka pale metufikisha na pahari hiyo maneno ime, imebaki najua Mungu atasimama na sisi mimi naitwa Stella Grace Moiruli na mimi ni sister ya Joseph Moiruli mwenye alikuwa taxi driver Ah uh, kwanza ni kumshukuru Mungu kwa ubali ametuleta 6 years si, siku mbili na kitu ya pili nashukuru judge receipt pia amekuwa akifanya kazi mingi sana amekuwa kwa hii kesi na haijakuwa niseme haijakuwa rais uh, mahali tumefika pia tunashukuru IJM fraternity kwa kuwa pamoja nasi na vikundi vyote wenye wametusimamia ya wenye wanapigania haki ya, ya, ya extra judicial killings pia tunawashukuru sana pia media tunawashukuru sababu mmekuwa pamoja nasi hiyo miaka sita hamjai choka mahali tumefika tuko na, na leo at least tumepata kuamini Mungu yupo na ukweli umepatikana kulingana na venye jaji ameelezea at least tumeona vile hiyo story ilianza na mahali imefika na we, wenye walifanya hiyo kitu so tuna matarajio kubwa sana so ningeomba kwa hizo familia tatu tuendelee tu kuvumilia mpaka mwisho na at least itakuwa funzo kwa wenye wanapanga kufanya, kufanya extra judicial killings wajue kwanza kwamba hata kama uko uh, hakuna mtu ako above the law hata kama wewe uko we ni askari mkubwa kiasi gani lazima kama umefanya makosa you are brought to book na nini uh, yani upatikana na makosa na uhukumiwe kama mwananchi wa kawaida na hata hiyo story mwenye u, u, mwenye alitoa hiyo ushahidi na akasema hiyo mambo yote fidhi accused venye hiyo mambo yote ilienda mi naonanga tu Mungu hakuwanataka au watoto wetu wapotelee bure au watoto wetu hiyo damu ita 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 it will save many Kenyans juu kama wangepotea na mahali walirushwa wakuliwe na wanyama hawakukuliwa it means that God alikuwa na wao mi ile kitu naamini Mungu alikuwa na wao na hawa ndio Kenyan saviors hawa ndio watasevu wananchi wenye wanaoleo wanauliwa kiholera I just believe that uh, My name is Benson Shamala I serve as a candidate director for International Justice Mission and today is a phenomenal day it's a very significant day because justice has been served in the case of Willie Kimani Joseph Mwiruri and Joseph Mwenda Indeed we have heard how the murder happened the judge has been very explicit giving very gory and very explicit explanation of the torture and the injuries that they sustained and this is very sad because this was done by people who are supposed to be protecting them the police and so we hope that this particular judgment will send a very strong message to any police officer who is involved in criminal activities that the law will catch up with you you will be held to account and you will face the law today also i'm hoping that this particular judgment that will act as a starting point of healing for the family it has been a long period of time Six years is a long period of time the family that were traumatized the families that have experienced a lot of anguish and anxiety is our hope that this particular judgment and justice that has been served will bring a closure and start of the journey of healing.